back to American Dream. I'm Elise Bickle here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today I'm looking forward to talking to you about one of my favorite things, Heinz ketchup, of course. Did you know the Heinz actually started right here? And ever since it has had a tremendous impact to the city. We're gonna head inside for a tour of the Senator John Heinz History Center, which is actually the Smithsonian's home right here in Pittsburgh. Let's go take a look. We're at the Senator John Hines History Center, the largest history museum in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And you know what, it's incredible here. If you haven't been here, you need to come. I mean, in your opinion, tell me what makes this place just so incredible. Well, one is its size. It's 350,000 square feet of museum. There are seven floors. You can learn everything about the first peoples of Western Pennsylvania, about George Washington founding the city in 1753. You can even learn about sports, the Immaculate Reception, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Sports Museum. It's all here I at mean, the History Center. You know what my personal favorite exhibit is? The Fred Rogers exhibit. Fred Rogers, Mr. <laughs> Rogers. Fred was a real Pittsburgher. He, he was part of this community. We have the original sets from Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Can we go take a look at the exhibit right now? You bet. Awesome, let's go. Oh, this is definitely my favorite exhibit for sure. You know, what is the impact that you see when guests come and visit this space? I mean, it's just incredible. When I see families come into this space, I, I see multiple generations relating to Mr. Rogers. Of course, the older generations grew up with Mr. Rogers, coming through that door, hanging his coat in that closet, and then welcoming people into his living room. Today, the little kids know Daniel Tiger, who was yeah. a puppet of Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Today, cartoons are made of Daniel yeah. Tiger. People in this exhibit, well, sometimes they get teary. Yeah. Sometimes they're taken back to their childhood. I will tell you the set for me personally, it feels like coming home. You know, it's, it's just, I feel like a lot of people feel that. I mean, this is a place they were known for home. You know, Pittsburgh is a city of neighborhoods. There are 90 identified neighborhoods, and each neighborhood uh, has the, its own feel. Fred Rogers tried to bring those neighborhoods together and let people know that we're all people, we all have hopes and dreams, we're all afraid of something, and we all need help once in a while. Absolutely do. And you know one thing I find in my home that I see right over here is, is ketchup, but this ketchup seems to be a little bit older. Well, we have the oldest ketchup on planet Earth here. Since we're talking about pickles and ketchup, let's go take a look at the Heinz exhibit. Oh, we've got a great Heinz exhibit oh, for you. Come on. Go. I think of ketchup, but it seems like it's a lot more than that. Well, ketchup is what Heinz is known for, but in the early days, they were known for horseradish. That was H.J. Heinz's first product. Then they started doing pickles. Everybody knew about Heinz pickles. And then in 1876, he tried ketchup. Now, he didn't invent ketchup, but Heinz's philosophy was to do a common thing uncommonly well. So he made the best ketchup and he put it in clear glass bottles so people could see it. He was an intuitive marketer. He came up with that marketing slogan, 57 varieties. Oh, that's incredible. And you know what? I just wanna thank you so much for showing me around. I'm so glad that I came today. Well, I'm glad you came too. There's something for everyone here yeah. at the People Museum, the Heinz History Center. As you can see, there's at least 57 reasons why you should come and visit the Senator John Hines History Center. If you decide to plan a trip, let me know and we can uh, catch up. <laughs> <laughs>